Hello there. Welcome back to another adventure, this time on the Seven Valley Railway. I've got the day off, so I've come out for the steam gala, yeah. and hopefully we can catch a few steam trains. First one is due that way. Got a little beautiful yellow field for the backdrop. Hopefully we can catch it without the sun blowing it out. As you can see, we've got a beautiful blue sky, no detail, so skies could look pretty bad today. But it is what it is, and you've got to take what you got. Join me shortly, and we'll try and get a few trains. So oh, first train is coming this way, um, I'm not sure what it is, I am changing the trains about a bit. Um, I've heard there's one of them ugly all is off and they've put a replacement on so I don't know if that's coming next. It should be due in literally five minutes now. Um, I'm going to get a shot here with this beautiful rape seat behind, it looks, looks fantastic it does. The next train comes in from the other direction. And for that, I'm going to try and get up. Let me just turn you around onto the bank over there. Whoop! The wall's going a bit wild. Get on the bank there because you can get some beautiful head on shots. And with it being a bit cool this morning, we should get a big pile of steam coming up. So, fingers crossed some nice little landscape type photographs of these trains i don't want just the train filling the frame i want landscape type shots um because i think they look that a little bit nicer to be honest so yeah the first train should be coming in about five minutes i'm shooting today on a monopod i've got the 70 to 200 mil lens on and i'm shooting on the canon 5d mark IV. i just love the camera so I keep using it, it's a fantastic camera to be honest. Um, because I'm on a monopod and I can't steady the camera and use a gimbal as well. I'll put this photograph on for you now, have a look, drop me a comment if you like it or not. And yep, yeah, just heard a whistle so it's on its way. Yep, yeah, I'll put the settings on the photograph as well. Enjoy and drop me a comment, let me know your thoughts. So what did you think of that first little shot? Beautiful little uh, panty tank. It's not the train I was hoping it was going to be, but it still looks pretty nice anyway. Nice little photograph there. I'm now going to have a walk over to this bank for the next shot. The next train is due in about, I would say, 15 minutes now. So I've got to climb up onto a bank, get up by the fencing and hopefully the nettles and stuff aren't tall enough to sting me and I can get a shot down the line that's what I'm after is a shot down the track now to uh, hopefully catch head on with the next train there's a little S bend down there and what they tend to do is as they approach this little S they put the power on so you do get a big plume of smoke and steam just suddenly shoot up and you can get some fantastic images head on with a big cloud of smoke above it so i'm now going to try and work my way over this little ditch i think i might as well just barge through it all and get up the top so join me shortly and we will be up here looking down the track so very precarious now we've got brambles everywhere sticking me to hell 
and we're shooting through the fence looking down the track it's a bit awkward with the gimbal um, but I am hoping to hopefully get some steam coming up above the train here it's a very awkward shot and I probably am going to end up shooting and elder this so ISO will probably go up and shutter speed will be up hopefully we should be good the sun is just to the left of the track so the train at the front should be lit up the steam should light up so again I think underexposed just so the steam isn't blown out it is a very bright day again and hopefully this shot should look pretty good there is just a few shots I want today there's uh, when I've took this I'm going to move farther down the track towards Hoyley maybe stop at Hampton Load first or maybe straight to Hoyley and then come back to Hampton Load but uh, I do love these trains and I'm I think I'm quite lucky having the Seven Valley Railway right on my doorstep it's uh, it's a beautiful thing if you haven't been take a train journey from Bridge North to Kidderminster or Kidderminster to Bridge North along the Seven Valley it's absolutely it's just stunning the scenery is so pretty along here so yeah I'm going to get off the GoPro I'll put the shot on for you right now I'll put the settings on again as well because I'm not going to be able to show you on the camera as I shoot it um, so yeah again drop me a comment if you like it give me a thumbs up this way it's got the sun right in the camera and I now walk up to the car and I'm going to move farther along the track now beautiful shot that though with all that steam coming out look fantastic it is an epic little location though and I do love coming here just for that one shot it's, it's absolutely fantastic so yeah join me in a minute we're probably going to be either at Hampton Load or at Hoyley Station. So now we've come down to Hoyley, the village of Hoyley. We're currently in Bark Street. It's a uh, another lovely little location here. You ride down by the railway line and you can get... You can literally take a photograph from about probably 10 foot from the, the train, the train line. Uh, it really does look good here. So I'm going to have a walk down and I'll show you where I'm going to be shooting this next shot. So this is what I want next. We literally, this is how close we are to the track. We have another photographer here. I'll turn you around. This is the lion. Absolutely lovely here. Really is another good spot this. Um, if you get a train with a lot of carriages on, they do pull steam all the way through here. And you can get some really epic shots with loads and loads of steam. So, yeah. I think the train's due in about five minutes. Again, I'm on the monopod with the 70 to 200 mil, because I want them I want to try and get the trains in the distance right down there on the bend um, or just coming around the bend so I am actually thinking probably will be shooting somewhere around the 100 mil mark yeah fingers crossed we get loads of steam again and then after this I think we've got another one here in about another half an hour's time and then we're going to shoot off to Hoyley Station and get a couple in the station. So, yeah, I'll put this photograph on for you now. I'll put the settings on as well, just so you can see what the settings are. 
and again drop me another comment and let me know your thoughts on the uh, on this image Highly station, beautiful little station this. Um, there's three trains coming here shortly that I want to try and catch. The first one is going to be just back there, looking over a little, little road bridge. It's a fantastic little shot, beautiful as a landscape. Then I'm going to walk down to the end of the station for one coming in down there. And then there's another one that I'm going to try and get back on the bridge. Again, it's a beautiful shot. Um, I just, I do love this station. It's absolutely fantastic here. You can get shots from pretty much anywhere along here. You've got the engine house, which is like a little museum. It's free to get in. Um, literally, you can jump off the train and we well, can just park up here and just go and uh, have a little wander around. There's some trains in there. You can get on the foot plate, everything, beautiful them. But yeah, I'm going to uh, finish my chocolate, another hot chocolate, while I'm waiting. And I'll join you back at the bridge and I'll show you the composition I'm going to try and set up there. It is absolutely beautiful. So, I'm going to show you now the best place at Oily Station for photographs. We just walk from the station itself over towards the engine house and there's a little spot on the road you can get and you can look straight at the little bridge and get the trains coming over it. Photo is absolutely fantastic. It is just a beautiful little spot. Here. So let me just turn you around and I'll show you the shot. So this is usually the best spot. We turn you around just here, but it is overgrowing, so probably get in just down here about the way of the car you can get the bridge and the train coming across it um, it's a shame the trees right in front of the bridge are a bit overgrown now um, they could spoil things a little bit you can't see quite as much of the bridge as I would hope but I'll try and have a look so I can get a good spot and I'll catch you in a minute so I've moved down just a little tiny bit and we have got the spot that we want I think. I can hear the whistle in the background so the train is due pretty much any minute now. So I'm going to get off here and I'm going to get the camera set up and I'll put the image on for you right now. I'll drop the settings on as well so you can see the settings. Uh, this little scene does look just beautiful.
this beautiful old thing. trying to figure out where to get my next shot from. Um, just had a walk up by the engine house and it's not quite doing it for me. I think there is a nice shot in the distance with a long lens but I think I may just come back down to where the little road bridge is. It does look um, just had a little bit nicer down there to be honest I think so anyway. I do like the shot from there. It's beautiful some nice detail in the sky which is good because you get a lot of sky here um, yeah the we have a what's it called the train is number 29 I can't think of the name of the train the green one coming in next um, I'll drop that on for you now and I'll also put on this last train that's coming in in a minute it's coming from this way the one before is coming this way and then this way so I'll drop these two on for you now please check out the description below uh, there's links to all the gear that I use and social media if you fancy adding me on social media please do uh, there's links to Facebook and Instagram in the description below please subscribe give me a big thumbs up and I'll put all the photos on again now for you starting with these two now and until next time enjoy them and I'll catch you soon